Hello again, everyone. Um, I have some more uh, stamps with matching dies from Amazon. I'm not sure if these are Global Land or what, but um, I just like the look of them. Each butterfly is in two parts, and I think they're intended to go that with that kind of thing. Um, I'm not really sure. I imagine you can just interchange whatever you like, put whatever you feel looks best with what. Um, I don't think they're exact copies of real specimens, so um, the world's your lobster, as I've said before. Um, I have put the dies onto little scraps of magnetic sheet that I had about the place, and I have put them in, two, the, in twos, that one and that one, so I don't go forever trying to working out which, which goes with what. So what I tried today was using some metallic paints. The other day when I was doing some painting, I was using um, luscious powders mixed with water to make a paint. And someone said, can you use metallic paints instead? So today I'm going to do metallic paints. My idea is that I'll just have a very simple card. This is a five by seven. I've got the card, I've got the panel. I have a small piece of scrap card onto which I have put some stick it on the back. That is because I want to cut out this, I believe it's, an, I've written on there, Alton U, um, an Alton U die. I want to cut that out and just stick that on as a background for this butterfly. I don't know if it, what it's going to look like, but I'll do that right this minute and just see. I'm not sure if I'll need to use, I think I will use my precision plate for this because it's quite intricate and I would just like to get it all cut out in one in one go without having to go back and do a second run. So let me just try this one and we'll see. Oh, it's, it's quite tough. There we go. Let's have a look. That looks like it's been done beautifully, so that's great. So I'm going to take off the backing and just stick it onto the front of this card. Let me just get rid of all the little bits. The joy of using a sheet like this is that the back peels off all in one go. If you use tape and you've got it in strips, you've got lots of bits to, to take off. Just to put this in the bin. And now we'll peel off the backing. If I can find an end. There we go. Just peel it off completely. And we're going to stick it onto the card. I'll pick it up with tweezers. Holding it with tweezers means my hand doesn't get in the way, so I can't see kind of where it's going. I don't think it's got a right way up or wrong way up, so I'll just stick that down. That's great. So I'm just going to put that out of the way because my idea is the butterfly will be kind of on there somewhere like that. So put that out of the way and we'll get, get on next with stamping our butterfly. Um, with using these paints to make it easier so that you could use any any black ink or whatever colour ink you like really um, and not get it run when you start to put some something with water on it I have proposed to clear emboss the stamping immediately it's been stamped and that will seal it and it doesn't matter then what ink you use. I've tried Versafine, I tried Clearly Better, I tried Distress Oxide. So really whatever you've got doesn't matter, just use it. But you will have to be fairly quick in embossing it because the ink does not stay wet for very long. It's not like Versamark. Versamark stays, stays you know, 
wet and able to be accept embossing powder for quite a while. So um, I can, I'll use the same the same one that I've already put on the block, and I'm just going to use Versafine for now. I have got my embossing powder ready, so I'm just going to make sure that's really handy before I do my stamping, and then I can just dunk it in the clear embossing immediately to make sure it grabs some of the embossing powder before it dries. Just a scrap here, I'm going to stamp it on, just make sure it's had time to transfer. Lovely stamp into the embossing powder and now I'm going to heat set it. Okay, now we'll do the other part of the butterfly. This is the the lower wings, I think. Very, very pretty stamps. Oops. Just do that again in case I knock any of it off. Okay, here we go. And straight into the embossing powder. There we go. lid on before I knock that off. Now I'm going to heat set that bit. Okay, I'm just going to put those out of the way for the minute because I want to bring over my um, paint box. Right. But I just had to go and answer the door. We had a delivery of coffee. Absolutely vital supplies. So, um, back to painting. So I will choose some colours. Um, I think we'll do this lovely, lovely pale, pale gold. Let's get a bit got more water in it. it. Takes a little while to get sufficient mixed with the water to to get a really good colour. Okay, I think I'm going to do the extremities of the wing with this. And because I've heat embossed the image, the paint is sliding off the embossing so I can paint over the lines and it's just running off, which is a real boon because it'd be very fiddly to have to colour each one individually and I've gone over the wrong one there, haven't I? But never mind, I'm going to do a deeper colour in a moment. I'll do the lighter colour of this set of wings as well, first of all, get a bit more on my brush. I'm just going to do the bottom of these as well. You can see that the water just, the paint just beads off the, the embossing, which is a real boon. That one should go in a minute. Right, how far up have I gone? This one, try and get it symmetrical. That one as well, okay. Now there's a couple of bits there that the paint has rested on. So if I just get a bit of paper towel and do this, the embossing will reappear. You see? Just take it off. A little bit there as well. Okay, now we choose a different colour. So, I think I'm going to choose blue. I love blue for butterflies. Let's get some of this blue.
feel there's quite enough intensity of blue on, on this bit here. So I'm just going to go over that again with a drop more of the paint. There we go. I'll dry those again now. Okay, these are dry now, so I'm going to get the uh, dies ready to cut them out. So, careful placing and a little tape. If I can find the end. Oh, is it just there? There we go. Now, the, I have found out earlier that although there's a little stamp for the body, the stamp and the die don't match up, sadly. The stamp is here and it's just not quite the right shape. So what I propose to do is to cut out one of these, colour it black, and then clear emboss it. So it's got the same sort of finish as the rest of the, of the, the butterflies. So, cut this lot out. to have to make this black and clear emboss this so I could have cut it from, oh that's <laughs> I was thinking I could cut it from that but that's not black card that is a magnet for these let me just put those on so I don't get muddled up okay I'll color this black just use a felt tip I could have cut one from a piece of black card of course color it black And just dip it in a little versa mark. And clear emboss it. There we go. Versa mark looks a bit grubby, doesn't it, really? Never mind. Right, we'll pick it up with my grab it all tweezers. Let me just see if I can. Hold it like that. And I'm just going to heat set that. Got a little texture because it's only one layer, but I think that's fine. So we're kind of getting there. That I put over there, that on top like this. And then we'll put it onto our card base. There's my panel. That's going to go on somehow like this. And we'll have a little sentiment, I think. I'll have a think about that. So it's, like, it's quite interesting, isn't it? I'm not sure if I like the fact that... Oh, that's not too bad. I think positioning is... If you can get those two lines of, of white 
just to um, superimpose themselves one over the other. It doesn't look too bad. I'll, I'll stick those together now, actually. Let's just put a little glue along this bit here, along there. And this can be glued just so there's a tiny bit. There we are. And then this on the top. Okay, let's have a look at this. I think it, it does need the body, definitely, doesn't it? Try and get the head just in the right place. There we are. And that can go in there like that. Maybe raised slightly and a little sentiment just here. So it's, it took me a long time with answering the door and one thing and another, but I think we've kind of got there. So um, another die and stamp set. And this one, I think, has got quite a lot of versatility. You should be able to, um, you know, vary what bits you put with which. So there's the stamp set. There's the card. Thank you so much for watching and uh, come back and see me next time. Thank you.